Also wanted to mention this uh, from Daily Wire. An anthropology researcher at the University of Pittsburgh was incredulous after champion female collegiate swimmer Riley Gaines pinned him on a basic question about the biological difference between men and women, which prompted raucous laughter from students. Uh, Gaines, a recent University of Kentucky graduate who tied for fifth place with transgender identifying swimmer Leah Thomas at the NCAA championship last year, recently delivered, li- delivered a talk at the uh, University of Pittsburgh about men and women's sports to a room of packed with students. Gabby Yearwood, a senior lecturer at the school's anthropology department, rejected the notion that researchers can use skeletal evidence to determine a deceased person's sex. So this is, you know, th- th- this this is always going to be one of one of the many kind of mic drop rejoinders that you can have if you're on the pro sanity side in the gender discussion. Uh, is is by asking, look, however somebody identifies. They die, they're dug up, their bones are dug up by, uh, by archaeologists or anthropologists. A um, hundred years from now, what are those scientists going to say about that person's sex? And that's definitive because they will be able to determine based on that, the sex, the gender identity won't mean anything anymore. But this person tried to claim uh, the opposite. Let's watch this moment. I actually have a question for you. You being an anthropologist, which anthropology is the study of human civilization, human. So, if you were to dig up a human, two humans, and a hundred years from now, both man and woman, could you tell the difference? Strictly off of bones. Yeah, because there's a wide range. Have any of you been to archaeological sites? Have any of you studied biological anthropology? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I've got over 150 years of data. I'm just, I'm just curious as to why I'm being laughed at. When I, I, have, I, I actually, I have, believe it or not, I have put a lot of research into this because I, 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 I'm not... <laughs> I'm just telling you that I have considered all viewpoints. Okay, he, he never explains how that could possibly be the case. Uh, that, well, no, you can't you can't tell the sex at all. But and and his his reasoning, his defense of that is, well, I have a PhD, so I'm the expert. So this is what I, what I say goes. This is the this is the kind of the Tony Fauci approach. You know, we've heard from Fauci that that he he is I am the science. He says I'm I'm the science. If you disagree with me, you disagree with science. I represent science, and uh, and this is how they all feel about themselves. They get the they get the credentials. They go and they uh, get the expensive piece of paper, and now they represent science. So science is not what it actually is, which is a process of understanding the physical world. That's all that science is. It's the process by which we come to understand uh, phenomena in the physical world. That's, that's science. That's what it actually is. But to these people who call themselves scientists, it's, it, science is uh, whatever they say. It's their own, it's their own viewpoint. And they are, they are uh, sort of, sort of adv- avatars for science itself. Um, but this is just total nonsense. I mean, he he is denying, uh, he, he's denying like the entire history of anthropology and archaeology. And you can go if you want to if you want to check the facts here. You can go on Google and just look up countless you have hundreds of stories, thousands of stories of scientists digging up some ancient bones from centuries ago and. All the things they're able to tell about that person. Um, because as it turns out, you know, your sex is a, a reality that is, it's not just, as we have been trying to establish, it's, it's not just about hormones. It's not about one individual thing. If you are a woman, then your entire body is, you know, attest to that fact. And as long as some part of your body remains, then they'll be able to determine yourself.